Good morning. So I was not quite ready to come home from Scotland yet. So I have joined Carla for three days of training in the peaks. We are wrecking some of the Lakeland 100 Ultra route um, over the next three days, which is very fun, very hilly. Um, I am terrible on hills. I just never make an effort to go and do them and living in London. So this will be very, very good for me. I'm going to take you with me. proper part of the first climb so I'm gonna take it with me on two runs this is the first one but both have some pretty beastly climbs in that Carla is gonna have to do in the dark which is mental um, but I've been picking Carla's brains so I'm gonna hand over to her to give you some tips hello so to go uphill I always start by trying to run and then when I get to the point where I know I can walk just as quick start walking put my hands on my legs to help drive myself up the hill and then I always try and pick something at the top like a tree or a rock and then when I hit that point if it's not a full summit which it is quite a lot up here I then start running again off the top of the hill and hopefully down the other side So we have got almost to the top of this climb and look at what is behind me. It's a little bit misty, so you can't see it at its fullest, but that is just insane. And she is doing the same thing as me. Us grammars can't miss a good spot. <laughs> so we have spotted the summit for the next climb. So we're gonna go all the way to the top of that and then run all the way down and back to our car which is about probably 8k from the top of the summit and we are going up here so you can't see quite but we have come from all the way down there up to the top also whilst i'm up here i thought i'd show you my train of choice so very muddy i am running in the under armour charged bandit it's under armour trail shoe uh, i actually love it it looks like quite a chunky shoe but it's got really good grip on it it's super super comfy i've run lots of miles of mine and i get on with them very very well tell us about where you will go after this during the actual race so in the race we're going to go down this path zigzags a little bit down the hill and then all the way along that stunning path all the way along the reservoir before coming up and turning around and heading back to running back to the car so we're running the route backwards and um, I will pop the route in the corner or in the comments um, so you guys can find out where we ran if you want to we did have to drop one car at the finish and one car kind of halfway along the course because that's oh running through water that's how we chose to run it so a good one if there's two of you slightly more difficult if there's only one car Hi friends! Bye friends! There's not very much left obviously because I've eaten it. But we got this delicious fudge from a fudge shop in Kendall. It looks pretty sad, I'll be honest right now, but it is really delicious. Pasta in bowl we're about to put. Ooh, where are we in Paris? It's official, another season is coming! Everyone likes our me in Paris. We're gonna put film on and eat our pasta and then eat the rest of our Ben and Jerry's and then go to sleep. Do it all again tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> so, as promised, ice cream and also some random cake that we got from the spa of all places, but actually very good. Um, but anyway, we're now gonna eat this up and then head to bed. So I will sign out until tomorrow. Morning! Sunny! Yeah! <laughs>
Yay! Honestly, this weather looks unbelievable. We are just having some breakfast. We got this amazing bread um, when we were in Edinburgh. So peanut butter on toast for breakfast. And then we're waiting for John, who's gonna pick us up at nine. We're gonna drive to Grasmere. We're doing an out and back today. Um, so I'll take you. It is absolutely beautiful out here today. Very, very warm. We are just on the first, I don't know how many climbs we've got today, but the first big climb of the day, <laughs> um, hiking up the hill. There is four of us today. Carlo and I have got two pals, uh, which is lovely. We've got about the same distance today, we think. It's an out and back, so I guess it depends when we turn around. So the weather has shown up for us today. It's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, we're just getting to the top of one of the big climbs. I think we're probably going to continue going up, but we've got a nice little flat bit now. Probably time to do some running. He's winning. Endurance royalty. So today's route is an out and back. So we are literally about to turn around. Been a bit of a tougher course today, I'd say. Quite a good climb, a little bit more technical terrain, but absolutely beautiful. So very excited for a dip in the lake at the end. We have reached our turning point and being greeted with this incredible view. We made it. Oh, <laughs> So I am going to go in there, but I just found out my GoPro isn't waterproof without the case on, so we're going to leave the GoPro behind. There he goes! <laughs> Hello! So we have literally got like 2k left, and this legend joined us for the whole 25k today. He's also doing the Lakeland 100. Introduce yourself. I am Rye. <laughs> just Rye. Uh, Rye is actually underplaying him to underplay. Underplaying himself hugely here because he's actually an incredible runner. GB 2014 and World Champs sport? Oh, or don't know yet. Yeah, World Champs for yeah. 24. World Champs 24. Um, absolutely insane and it's literally been like a mountain goat. Um, so yeah, great to run with, you know, the pros. Let's watch them in the distance. Absolutely glorious run. And now heading back to Windermere for cake. So run complete. We did 24 kilometers. Very hilly. Um, and went for, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I went for a dip, my ankles went for a dip, everyone else went for a full dip in the lake, um, little, little steps, you know, and now we have coffee and cake, peanut butter, jam blondie, and this was a flapjack, um, and we're just on our way back to our Airbnb so I can pack up my stuff and get on the road! So I forgot to sign off as usual, but I am now back home in London and about to get myself an early night, um, but an incredible few days in the peaks. Thank you Carla so much for letting me join you and hopefully I'll be back in the peaks, in the lakes. Anyway, hopefully I'll be back very soon. <laughs>